Hey, what's going on you guys? It's your man James aka JP back again with another toy room review. Today we're going to be taking a look at something a little different. We're going to be looking at cards against Disney. Uh, so before we get started, I do want to say just because this is branded as a Disney game, this is by no means meant for children. This is still the same spin-off of Cards Against Humanity, which is this, you know, your raunchy, uh, dirty jokes, adult jokes, uh, however you want to put it. Uh, and this is the exact same thing. It is just Disney themed. So I do want to say that this is not meant for kids. If you are a kid watching this, you may want to ask your parent before continuing on through this video, which is also why I put this video with the mature rating that you have to click that you're over 18. So with that out of the way, yes, this is a spinoff of Cards Against Humanity, and this is not made by the same people who make Cards Against Humanity. Uh, I'm actually not even sure who makes this. I saw this on Facebook and went ahead and ordered it. Now, it did cost me $50, uh, and I did have an issue when I ordered it. Now, this was coming from the UK, and they said it was going to cost 50 US dollars, but when I checked my PayPal, they charged me $70, which was like 50 pounds. So I had to open uh, like a, a issue on PayPal or whatever, and PayPal refunded me the difference, so I still ended up paying the $50 for this. Uh, but that was an issue, and the website for this is a little sketchy. Now, again, I did receive it, I did get it, and everything was good with it. But order at your own risk. I will leave the links down below. Uh, again, this isn't like a legit product. This is kind of like something that somebody made at home. Uh, but I ordered it. I thought it was pretty cool. And yeah, so it's basically a spinoff of Cards Against Humanity. If you're not familiar with Cards Against Humanity, it's a card game where you have kind of like fill in the blank sentences or statements with one card. And then you have to complete that sentence or statement with another card. And whoever has the funniest card wins. And, you know, you, each person takes turns judging. Uh, so it's a really fun game. And what I really like about this is if you already have a Cards Against Humanity like I do, you can actually use this as an expansion pack uh, and you can mix in the cards and they'll work pretty seamlessly. And like I did mention before, this is from the UK. So some of the text is spelled a little differently. Some of the grammar you can tell is very UK grammar and it's just not, you know, normal, typical American grammar, but it's not a big deal. You know, it's you just look past it really uh, and it's only certain cards not every card is like that and overall it's just really really fun it's a lot higher quality than I thought it was gonna be now obviously you can get cards against humanity for like $25 so you ask yourself why would you want this for $50 well if you play Cards Against Humanity as much as I do, you've pretty much seen every card, every joke is old, even with the expansion packs. So this kind of gives you a new, fresh take on it, and I really, really like that. Uh, new jokes, new stuff that you haven't seen before, everything is brand new. Some of the jokes are kind of like um, taken from the Cards Against Humanity cards, and they may change like a couple words around or like a couple characters or something like that. Uh, but you may recognize some of the jokes from Cards Against Humanity. And like I said, this is way higher quality than I thought it was going to be. The box is a nice solid box, nice high quality. You got the nice red on the box. The cards are all very nice and laminated. I thought they were going to be kind of like cheaply made cards, maybe on like thin pieces of paper or something like that. But the cards actually feel just like the Cards Against Humanity cards. And I got to say, I was really blown away with just the overall overall quality of this. Now, is it worth $50? That's really up to you. If you're a diehard Disney fan like I am, if you love Cards Against Humanity and you just want something new, then yes, it comes with like 500 cards or something like that, which is a lot of cards. I've already played this a couple times and haven't seen the same joke twice. So I think that is really, really cool. And like I said, you could just mix this in with Cards Against Humanity if you have it already. And now you have yourself endless possibilities with like over a thousand cards or if you even have the expansion packs for cards against humanity uh then you have even more possibilities with just the amount of variations and and differentiating every time you play so i think that's really cool so overall i think this is cool again this was fifty dollars you know it may cost you cheaper there's like a bunch of third-party knockoff websites selling it so i'm sure you can find it somewhere i'll post a link down below where i got it just be careful uh, check your PayPal statement. I would suggest paying with PayPal versus paying uh, with your credit card because it'll be easier to get the refund if they charge you extra like I did. Just make sure whatever is on your receipt 
uh, that they say the US dollar amount is, make sure that's what you're getting charged on PayPal because like I said, they charged me 50 pounds versus $50, which ended up being 70 US dollars. But again, PayPal refunded me the difference for that because I issued a statement with them or opened the issue. I forgot what exactly it's called, but this is a great party game. This is great for when you have family gatherings, if you just wanna play with your friends. Uh, you do need at least four players. It's gonna be impossible to play with it's impossible to play with two players. It would be really boring to play with three. At minimum, you need four. It says that you can play with up to 20. 20 plus, actually, and I think that's a little crazy. I think at max, to really enjoy it, maybe six. At minimum, four. At max, six. But you definitely could play with a big group. It would just take a lot longer to play and probably wouldn't be as fun. So that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Also, share this video with your friends. And also, if you want to follow me on Instagram, that link is in the description down below. Make sure you guys stay tuned for more. And as always, I'll see you guys next time.